It may seem unusual, but outside of Washington, D.C., Indianapolis is home to more war memorials than any other city in America. They stand in memory of those who gave their lives and for those who remember. This is where I, I got my Purple Heart, 1st Marine Division, Okinawa. John Flack remembers. But these guys uh, paid their dues, fought, and took care of each other. Well, Dad, you've had a long, illustrious career. Lying about his age when he was 16 to serve during World War II. It was issued to me in 1944. And he remembers answering his country's call during Korea. And then the army was over here, but they only had about 3,000 guys. He's a member of the Frozen Chosen. It was a Chosen Reservoir. And it was frozen over. The fierce battle memorialized in the World War Museum. In fact, his United States Marine Corps uniform is still on display there. We were the band of brothers. After serving eight years and two wars, Flack returned to Indianapolis to serve 35 years at IPD, where he is the most decorated officer in history. But it's what he did in his off time and now retirement that gives us a full illustration of his life. Every part of the Marine Corps is in a painting. Now, armed with a paintbrush, he fights to bring those memories back to life. Memories as simple as a cold cup of java coming off the front or more intimate remembrances of life and death. It's very moving. Most of the pictures and sketches he did were from actual situations. Chinese are all around him. People he had served with in both campaigns. The wind is so tough and it's so cold. He paints from memory. So what happens if the man who remembers so much starts to forget? I can feel it. We started noticing it about a year and a half ago. But... Um, a decline in, in his speech and his memory a little bit. Uh, so anyhow, I... Uh, he went back to the doctor and they said, John, yeah, you, you've got Alzheimer's. It's in the very early stages. The thing I worried about was not me. Uh, first, you, you live for your family, you live for your country, you live for the girls you're going to marry, and right on up. Because the most important person in the world is certainly not me. So now John Flack is busily working, painting a path that he can follow because he knows the way. It's starting to uh, progress a bit more. And I think the paintings help him remember. These are treasures. All of us are going to come and go, and, uh, but these treasures are going to stay here. On display at the World War Memorial in Indianapolis, at least two other Marine Corps museums and a couple of US battleships as well. But the way he sees it, it's the least he could do for those holding the high ground. For those who didn't make it back, but they're still waiting for us, they're holding the high land. All these memorials are for those who gave their lives. And you always wonder why your buddy got killed and I didn't. And for those who remember. Well, you've given me uh, quite a legacy to uh, look up to. For as long as they remember. So how much longer do you think you're gonna be able to continue to paint? I'll tell you when I can. And beyond. Kevin Rader, Channel 13, Eyewitness News.